Hey guys, today I have this celeb inspired makeup look for you. We're going to be doing this look from Khloe Kardashian. Celebrity artist Ash Holm created this look on her and I wanted to of course give it a try and recreate. So let's go ahead and jump. To start this look, I want to make sure my skin is hydrated and prepped and all ready. So I'm going in with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream just to give my skin that extra hydration, extra dewiness. And I do have a little bit of dry patches on my face. We need to hydrate that up. Next, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer. And I'm just going to pop that onto the other areas of my face where I want to have it a little bit more blurred. I'm going to kind of stay clear for too much by the nose area. I'm going to do it more on the forehead and a little bit on the remaining of the face. For the skin today, I'm going in with two of my favorite foundations, the NARS Natural Radiant and the NYX Born to Glow. Mix those together and I'm going to have shades below for you. I'm going to apply it with this flat top brush just to get it all over the skin evenly. And then I'm going to go in and blend it all together seamlessly with a beauty sponge. Her skin was obviously very flawless looking, so I want to make sure that we have that nice seamless, flawless look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this everywhere and blend it down to the neck. So today I actually have a little bit of dry patches around my nose. I'm not sure what it's from, probably the weather or something, but I just want to make sure that when I'm applying my foundation, I'm not putting too much and I'm not like overly doing it because you will tell. So I want to just make sure I'm packing the product in very, very lightly with a very light hand and light amount of product into that area just so we don't have too much going on. And that's a little tip. If you have a little dry patch, don't overdo it with product. <laughs> For the brows, I did do them off camera, but I'm going in with the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. I'm just gonna pop that on the brows and brush them up. She had a very nice bushy brow. For concealer today, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. It's a really nice hydrating concealer, and I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes a little bit on the sides of my eyes, just to kind of lift everything, chin and nose. Then I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, one of my holy grails. I'm gonna pop that underneath the eye as well, just to blend that in with that shade. And then I'm gonna do a little bit into the forehead area as well. I'm gonna spritz my face with the CoverGirl Spray. This is one of their new ones from the Clean Fresh line. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend with a beauty sponge into the skin. I'm using pressing motions and really ensuring that we have the product sinking into the skin and keeping it in the areas that we applied it in. And of course, I wanna have a little bit of brightness down to the center of my face so I will focus in there as well something about this whole vibe that she had going on I fell in love with obviously everywhere from hair to makeup and for the hair I did just go ahead and do like a half up half down pony and just split it into two so I did two of them and just wrap my hair around the little ponytails super easy super cute to contour the skin and add a little bit of bronzing, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Baked. I'm gonna start by packing it into the skin in pressing motions using this angled brush, keeping it into the contour areas of my cheeks, my temple area, a little bit by my forehead, sides of the nose, jawline, all of those areas to kind of chisel out the face. But this product in particular melt in the skin, super beautiful. And I feel like based off of the photo that I was looking at, it was more of like a blushy, kind of vibe as opposed to super heavily contoured. So I'm just gonna have this really melted into the skin. For the blush, I'm taking the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This is a cream blush and this is in the shade Butterflies. It's a beautiful like deeper mauve color. I'm obsessed with it. Look how easily this melts into the skin. So I'm just gonna blend it in with our cream bronzer that we did before in an upwards motion just to lift the face and have it just having that really pretty blushy look. And then I'm going to go in and just contour my nose quickly. Then I'm going to go in and set the under eyes using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and that sponge again. And I'm going to be keeping this literally directly underneath my eyes. So I'm not going to be bringing this too far down. I'm going to keep it on the corner of my eye to have that uplifted effect while still setting, but also keeping it in the direct under eye. So really not bringing it down to the cheek area at all, not in the center of the face at all. For me personally this day, I did have those dry patches. So to kind of not have that be a problem, I didn't want to overly set it. So I kind of left that part bare, but that's it up to you. You can of course go ahead and do so. I just chose not to. And then I'm going to hit all the other spots of setting that I normally would. So the middle of my forehead, chin, a little bit under the contour as well. And then I will just brush everything away with a separate brush just to remove all the excess powder. 
Now I'm jumping into the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. This is an oldie but a goodie for me. I'm gonna be taking both of those lighter shades, so the banana shade and the little white shade, popping it into the center of the face to give more of that brightened, lifted effect that she has going on. So I'm gonna put a little bit under the eyes by the chin, forehead, and this is just gonna help with that bright look and more of that like banana-y kind of look. I love it. And again, keeping that very soft and pressing motions. Taking a stippling brush and using those contour shades, I'm just gonna pop this right over top of the cream bronzer we did earlier, just to intensify the bronzing shade a little bit. Moving into the eyes, I'm gonna be taking the NARS Concealer. This is their Soft Matte Concealer. I'm gonna pop that on with a brush and blend it on my eyelids really evenly and prep it for our shadow. So the tones of her eyeshadow were definitely more neutral and nude. So I'm gonna go in with the Nude Mood Palette from ColourPop. I'm gonna take both of these natural matte shades and pop it into my crease and just really build it up into the crease and transition area. And then it kind of just fades into the whole lid. You'll see towards the end, but I do like to start out initially with the crease. So I'm just gonna keep on bringing this from inner to outer and really just washing it on the lid. So I'm just gonna keep on building this color up back and forth as well as bringing it to the lower lash line area and basically extending it towards my brow as well so there's no harshness at all over there. Then taking this matte shade, I'm really just going to apply it onto the full lid like I said before and just really pack that on to the lid lightly just to have it all flow seamless. Then I'm gonna go in with the new palette from Pixie Beauty. This is the Rosette Ray palette. I'm gonna be taking both of those champagne-y, kind of neutral, shimmery shades. I'm gonna take it on a smaller brush and pop that into the inner section of the eye. So the photo that I was looking at, I really only saw the inner third of her eye. So I'm just kind of taking it for what I saw and just popping that into the inner section towards the nose area and building up that color just to be a little bit more intense, but keeping it neutral. To smoke out the bottom a little bit, I'm taking this brown eyeliner. This one is from Milk Makeup. It is their gel liner. I'm gonna run that into the like lower section of the eye, not really in my inner waterline, just the under section. And I'm going to first apply the color there and then I'm gonna take the other side and smudge it out just a little bit. In this photo, she definitely had more of a brown smoke on the lower lash line area. So I'm gonna start off with this. And then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Natural Nudes palette, taking that deep brown shade and popping that right over top of that liner and just really like stamping kind of and then smudging it out a little bit just to intensify that brown shade. For the wing, I'm gonna be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Liner and applying it just like I would a normal wing. So I'm just gonna extend it towards the outer section, not doing it too crazy, just a normal length and then I'm just going to keep it as is and I'm actually not going to be putting it on my lid just doing it into the outer corner. Bring a little bit more glow to the skin I'm taking the Maybelline glass spray just doing a quick spritz and letting that sink into the skin then I'm just going to go right over top of that shade we put on earlier on the intersection of our eye and I'm just going to be taking this highlighter and just applying a little bit into there to ampen it up a tad. Taking the Lancome Glow For It palette, I'm gonna be taking this first shade, which is a highlighter, and I'm just gonna pop that onto the cheekbone area. Keeping this very subtle today, I'm not gonna do a crazy highlight, just a tiny bit for an extra added glow. For her lashes, she had very nice fluttery long lashes, so I'm taking the Bold Face Makeup Lashes in the Style Lash Trance, popping those on. Then I'm gonna be applying mascara, taking the L'Oreal Air Volume, meshing those together to get a really nice full look. And then applying to the bottom as well, she had really nice volumized lower lashes. So I'm gonna apply that and keep them long and wispy. For the lips, we are keeping things nude. I love the lip color she had going on. So I'm gonna be taking the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. And this is definitely like my staple lip combo. So if you've seen this a thousand times, I'm sorry, but this is my all time favorite lip combo and she just so happens to be wearing something super similar. So we're gonna be keeping it with that. I'm gonna line up my lips and fill them in a little bit. Taking the KKW Beauty Nude Liner right over top of that just to accentuate the lips a little bit more. And then right over top of this, taking the MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love, the perfect nude. This combination is my perfect nude and I love it. So that's what it looks like she was wearing and that's what we're rocking. And once I've done that with the lips, that is the look. This is the Khloe Kardashian look. I saw it on Instagram and I absolutely fell in love. I love how it's super glam, but also a soft glam, if that makes sense. I believe that is all for this video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.